of this for one dollar i couldn't believe i couldn't leave it behind for only one dollar it's a little heavy so hey guys my name is missy and i'm a full-time thrifter picker or better yet treasure hunter i love finding things that catch my eye and bringing them back to life you can find me picking garage shells thrift shops flea markets auctions and yes even curbs so come join me on this adventure let's do some picking hey guys it's missy with junk to be loved i am back with another haul video for you guys today um this is a haul from the previous video you seen where i went and took a quick trip to pella and i went to bibles for mission and I ended up getting some fun things. So I'm going to show you everything in this sack that I got. Um, well, actually. Did I get that? No, that was at the almost free shop. I'm going to do that, that haul next. Um, but this is everything that I got from Bibles. Um, I can't remember what my total spend was. My receipt is in the other room and I forgot to grab it, but we will just get to the haul. Um, I got this for a dollar and it was as is because it has been glued back like that. But if you stick it in a plant, you're not even going to see that part anyway. But how cute are they? I just think they're so adorable with the tulips. They're little Dutch kissing people. So sweet. And it is um, 1984 is the date on the back. And it says, I can't read it. I can't read the name of it, but I can read the date. 1984. Looks like R-Line Inc. or something maybe. Yeah, it's cute. One dollar. Then I got this for one dollar. And we are going to open this up together because I didn't open it. I'd, all I seen was this and the scarecrow looks so cute to me. So I thought this would be a cute thing to add in my, if it's cute, I don't even know what it is. Um, it says 44 by 44. So 44 inches by 44 inches. We don't, I don't even know what it is. Is it a curtain? It's got little, what is it? Oh, it's a cute tablecloth. It's a very cute tablecloth and it's got the rivets around it, I guess to hold it in place because they're all the way around it. It's like even. How cute is that? And then see the rivets. Yeah, how cute. Very cute for fall. I really like the scarecrows. I think they're adorable. It's, it's so cute. So $1. A vintage tablecloth, 44 inches by 44 inches. So it'd fit like a little, like a card table, I guess. I don't know, but it's pretty cute. I like that. Okay. That was cute for one dollar. I'm happy with that. Then you seen me pick up this. So cute. It is a um a pillowcase. And I will show you. We will open it together. They always saran wrap all their stuff, the ladies there. It's so nice and they put it all nice and neat. Cute. That is a cute pillowcase. I really, really, really like that. It's all embroidered. And then it's got the lace at the bottom. Or the, you know what I mean? So that's cute. I really like that. And that was $2 for the pillowcase, for the embroidered pillowcase. Then, 
I got this cute, this like little grab bag for 50 cents. And it's just got a bunch of little things in it. And I got it because, you know, I thought these would be cute for like assemblages maybe. You know, these are these are the ones that I got it for. Because I got, I like that cute little kitty. It's a cute little plastic kitty. That was in there. So I like the kitty. And then there is this little... It's like a metal box. And I don't know. I don't think it opens. It's, it says Potpourri Press. May, Greenhouse, North Carolina, made in the USA. Does it open? I thought the lid just slid off. But, oh, it does. The lid just slides off. I thought that's what it looked like. So you can just put little stuff in there. I don't know. I just thought that was cute. And then there's this cute little felt bear. This little rubber bear. And then this little, what's that say? Henry Bindle. I can't read what the rest of it says. It's a pen. It's a pen. It's like a little bear in a sack with balloons. Hmm. I don't know. I just thought they would be cute. Maybe I can put give these away in like a um one of my mystery boxes or something. And I don't know. I just thought they were a little cute. People could use them for to like make little assemblages. I thought they were sweet. Then I also got this little grab bag for 50 cents. And these are the cute little hugging bears. There's two. Two in there. I thought they were so cute. Look, and they got the hearts on their feet. I think they're sweet. And this one's worn off a little bit, but see, it says, I love... Um, like American flag. I think those are cute. And then there was a little one in there. Just a tiny little one. So I'll probably stick him in the other little bag. He's a tiny little felt bear. So I thought those were cute for 50 cents. My hair's getting in my face. Then, I got this, and I believe this is McCoy. I'm not for sure. Because it's not marked, but I believe this pattern is McCoy. But I love this for one dollar. I couldn't believe, I couldn't leave it behind for only one dollar. It's a little heavy. So, this might have to be shipped by itself if it goes into one of my live sales, but I really like it. Or if you're interested in it beforehand, you can always email me at junktobeloved at gmail.com and let me know, and I might sell it to you beforehand. Then, I picked up this. It's a harmonica still in the box for $5. Oh, I just finished eating dinner. Um, and it still has like the music thing in there, you know, the paper. But I thought that was so cool for only $5. Let me see if I can take the price tag off now. Now that I'm showing ya. Hope I don't leave a lot of sticky residue. But with it being in the box, I thought it was cool for five bucks. It's a blues band. This is blues band Horner International. Pretty neat. 
I thought that was pretty cool. Then I got this. And the box looks cool and vintage, right? It's cute. But I actually got this for us to keep and use for our little dogs. For, because that way Luke can just trim their nails. Oops. See? Luke can just trim their nails himself. So, I got that to keep and that was only $2.00. Then this was my favorite piece that I got. This is my favorite, favorite piece of the day. And I absolutely love the color and the painting. It's so pretty. Yeah, see, that's like dark. It's I thought that was like something on it, but it's in the in the pottery. It's so pretty of a color. And look at the... And I'm, I can't... I know I've seen this design before, and for the life of me, I can't remember who the maker is. But it's it's really awesome and pretty. So pretty. And it was only $1, as you could see. Oh, I'm going to take the sticker off so you can get the full effect of it. How pretty it is. See how pretty that is? And I love the color. You know, it looks like a jadeite, kind of. But it's... It's like a pottery. So that's like the glaze. And it's hand painted. It's so pretty. And there's no... No chips or cracks as far as I know. There's a... There is... And I can't tell if that's a chip because it looks like it's glazed over. It's a rough spot right here. There is a rough spot right there, but it's like glazed over. So. But this is my favorite piece. This is so pretty. So pretty. There. Had to do a thumbnail. Then I did get the head. Look at her makeup. It's kind of hideous. It's funny. But it is a vintage mannequin head. I like the bottom. How it's got its original advertising on there. And it says, item number K900, another quality product. First Lady Kin by Mariana. Italy, West Germany, Canada, Australia. That's what it says on there. And it's metal. It's got the metal base. And I just thought it was cool. You know, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or sell it. Because um, this would be nice to use um, for displays. But I, you know what? I already have one that's really not vintage. It's a new one that I got brand new. Um, it came still wrapped in the plastic so, since this one is vintage, I'm probably going to go ahead and sell her. I'm going to sell this vintage lady with her braids. With her messed up braids, man. That's very uneven. <laughs> Somebody will be able to fix her. I just thought that was so cool. I like that. Pretty cool. Then, the last two things that I got were books. And they were 50 cents a piece. I thought that was so cute. I love the graphics. I'm going to see if I can get the sticker off real quick. I hate it when they stick the stickers to the book. Usually, these ones aren't that bad to get off. Some of them are pretty tough, but... Look at that graphics, the illustration, it's so cute. The giraffe who went to school. I just think that's so cute. It does have writing on the back, but that's okay because it's on the back. Who wants to display the back anyways? And it was originally only 49 cents. How sweet. 
and it's got a little bit of writing in the front in there, but not too bad. Look at that cow. Oh my goodness. So cute. Adorable. And it's Wonder Books, New York, um, 1975. Look at those ladies. Funny. I like the illustration. So if you do junk journaling, look at that. That's so sweet. If you do junk journaling, like these would be perfect. Even though I hate to see books tore up, you know. I just think this is so awesome. I like seeing the illustrations. They're so cool. So I got that one. And then the last one that I got was Three Little Pigs. So cute. And this one was only 50 cents as well. And this one does have a little bit of wear on the binding. Um, the edge right there, it does. But that's okay. It's still so stinking cute. I'm going to see if I can get that off. That's like an old sticker, but like a Mr. Clean might take that off or one of my alcohol wipes. But so cute. Look at the big bad wolf peeking, peeking in. <laughs> and the illustrations on this are just adorable as well. I will show you guys. Even the inside cover is so cute. It's got some cute little pictures. And then look at these. Oh my goodness. So cute. Here's the first page. I think it's adorable. And this one is from, I don't know, because it's M-C-M-L-X-V-I-I-I. -I -I. So I'd have to look that up. And I will put it right there. But they're so cute. And this is like a bigger book. This reminds me of one that I would have had when I was a kid. I loved books and I loved to read when I was little. I wish I read more now. Look in the Indian, chasing them up the apple trees. It's funny. So cute. I just think it's adorable. So, 50 cents. That was my haul from Bibles for Mission. I got, I, like I said, I can't remember how much I spent, um, because the receipt's in the other room, but I told you the price of everything, which wasn't bad at all. I'm pretty excited. I got some fun things. I love vintage stuff. I love finding vintage things. So, if you're interested in anything I find, feel free to send me a message at junktobeloved at gmail.com, all lowercase letters, junktobeloved at gmail.com. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I do have a live sales once a week. I just don't know what day for sure because my schedule changes all the time. So, um, don't forget to hit that bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And I also do list some things on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. So those links will be in the description below as well too. But like I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye guys, see you later. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.